What's up guys, Ruben here, and today I am doing a Galaxy S3 benchmarking. Uh, this is uh, stock Galaxy S3 software, I haven't done anything to it, and um, I've literally just unboxed it in my previous video, which I'll link to in the description uh, below the like button. Um, so yeah, this is benchmarking, I'm going to use Linpack, I'm going to use Antutu benchmarking, and I'm going to use Quadrant, uh, the commonest benchmarking utilities. I'm going to give you an idea of what this can do. So as you know, this has... Um, one gigabyte of RAM is running on an Exynos uh, 1.4 gigahertz quad core CPU, and then basically it's just a beast of a phone running on the Mali 400 GPU. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. And uh, I think we'll start off with we'll start off with Quadrant. Um, so I just do this and uh, we'll run it. This is the first time running each of these tests, and uh, speed this up and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're back and uh, I'm about to unreveal the scores. Um, it seemed to perform very well and fairly quick. And wow, as you can see there in Quadrant, we are getting 5,343. That is a great score. And also, as you can see, it beats the HTC One X um, and the Asus Transformer Prime, which um, are running on NVIDIA's quad core chip set. So, uh, this is really intriguing. This obviously, according to stats, it destroys this. Uh, it destroys the other competition out there, and it just reinforces the fact that this is one of the best firms out there in the market at the minute. Uh, so that's a very respectable score. We'll go to a nice Limpact test next. Uh, we'll run multi-thread, obviously, because it's a quad-core device, and we are getting 100 there. I'll just bring it up to the screen, and it's taken 1.7 seconds. We'll run it again. 102, and we'll run it a third time. And we get 150. Try it fourth time. 146. 163. So as you can see, uh, that seems a bit unreliable to me. That um, benchmarking software. But for a quad core CPU, obviously you can expect high results. And again, they are very high results. Um, so obviously it's quad core, and a lot of these uh, benchmarking utilities aren't. Um, you know, aren't utilised to uh, utilise quad core chipsets because this is so new. Um, but the, I believe they are utilised to use the 720p HD display. So next, we'll use um, Antutu benchmarking. Uh, we'll give this a go. Uh, just want this is running an eight gigabyte class four memory card. Um, so we'll do that and we'll start to test. And like I said, um, I'll just skip this while it runs. So we're back, and uh, we have a score here. And as you can see, the score is 12,000. That's 12089. Wow. <laughs> so we're just, we'll, we'll, uh, we're not bothered submitting these. We're just, here we go. Look at this. Just pause the video here if you want to look at that. But we are getting some very nice scores. Our RAM is actually very good. Um, our SD card isn't that bad either. 3D graphics, we're getting 1,200. Uh, CPU, as you can imagine, is definitely the highest end uh, score there. So that's very impressive, and I'm very impressed with that score. Uh, so that's basically been my benchmarking, guys. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more Galaxy S3 videos. Um, but also, in terms of benchmarking and everyday performance, it's a very nice device. And obviously, you're going to have not lag whatsoever here because the quad core is just, it's, you know, it's doing its job very well. I can easily say that this is one of the fastest phones out there in the market at the minute and without a doubt the best. So please guys, please thumbs up and like this video and thanks for watching. Ruben out.